All right. We're in the kitchen this morning with Richie Cuco. He's the food and beverage director in Atlantic Shores Retirement Community in Virginia Beach. And uh, making a dish, I don't know, I guess it counts as breakfast because there's a waffle involved. But uh, it's a shrimp and curry dish with a red curry sauce. So we're excited to have you. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me here. What is the first thing that you do with this recipe and, and uh, how did you come up with it? Um, it just seemed to uh, be a good dish for this time of the year. Yeah. Uh, the waffle uh, representing comfort, comfort food. food. <laughs> Uh, you have the red curry, which is, uh, is Thai, mm -hmm. um, just putting them both together, and uh, it seems to work. The, the coconut waffle uh, accompanies the, uh, the red curry very well. Mm -hmm. All right, so you've got your waffle iron heated up here. So what's in the batter? Um, the batter is um, there's onions, garlic, and uh, coconut flakes. So mm -hmm. it's more of a savory, sweet waffle yeah um which is also going to offset the spice from the uh, red curry okay can we see you make one sure your fancy waffle iron there that you brought just for this so otherwise it's just the that you you could make the batter the way you would normally make it for waffles you, or pancakes and then you add those other you, things. you certainly can you can use a, a commercial uh waffle batter mm -hmm. and then in it goes and how long does it um does it take to make that because when you close that up you can't really see it well there's a there's a timer on this uh, you can fancy waffle. You don't make waffle. waffles a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it kind of helps right. out. And then down it goes. Ooh, that's fancy. Now how come you had to flip it over? Um, well, it starts to cook on the bottom. When you flip it over, it'll now just cook all the way around evenly. It'll be nice and even. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, let's talk about what's going into the red curry sauce. I know you want to work on that next because the seafood, the shrimp and scallops is going to be very fast, right? Yes. So we'll it'll, save it'll that for a little bit. Relatively okay. quickly. Um, it's going to be uh, just coconut milk. Mm -hmm. And that you can just get at the store in a can, right? You can. Okay. It's available in most grocers. Mm -hmm. uh, red curry. And is that that's a paste? It is. And again, um, this is also available in, uh, in most grocers now. So is this going to be hot? Spi like spicy hot or... I mean, because Thai food is kind of right on the edge there. It seems like for every bit that it's hot, it's also sweet. Well, the thing with curry, the more you add to it, or the more you add to the recipe, it's going to be more intense. Okay. So you can adjust it. Okay. All right. So coconut milk and the red curry paste goes in first. What kind of, what kind of heat are we working with here? Pretty high. Yeah, it is pretty high. We're just going to, um, we want to dissolve the red curry mm -hmm. into the uh, coconut milk. Are you going to bring it up to a boil? Um, a simmer. Because we don't want to scorch the coconut milk. There right. is sugar in the coconut milk. Mm -hmm. So that would burn. That it will. Burn. Okay. All right. So once we get that blended, are you going to take the heat down a notch and add more stuff? What I am. Do you have over I'm here? also going to just add a little seafood base. Mm -hmm. And you, again, you can um, find that at the grocery store mm -hmm. in, a, in a bouillon cube. Mm -hmm. And um, from here, we're just going to let it come to a simmer. And what's the yellow stuff over there? This is going to be our candied mango butter that we're going to finish oh. the, uh, the waffle okay. with. All right, getting a little ahead of myself. This is probably a good time to uh, stop it right here. Okie doke, back in the Hampton Roadshow kitchen with Richie Cuco. He's the food and beverage director at Atlantic Shores, a retirement community in Virginia Beach, and making something that, you know, we all said, wow, that's very unique before the show. Shrimp and scallops and a red curry sauce on that coconut waffle. Last time we kind of got the waffle started, is it, can we look at it? Is it finished? Sure. The whole station smells like waffles now. Everybody's <laughs> very excited about that. But yeah, it looks good. And that goes in the bottom, and you're going to show us how you plate it. Correct. Later. Okay, we've also been working on our curry sauce, our red curry sauce. I see a couple of bubbles there, but you said you really didn't want to bring this to a big rolling Correct. boil, just a, just a simmer. Just a light simmer. Okay, and we're going to put the ingredients for the recipe and the steps uh, at thehamptonroadshow.com. And, and this was just a red curry paste and coconut milk. Coconut milk and uh, seafood, uh, seafood. seafood base. That's what I almost forgot. That's why we put the list on thehamptonroadshow.com, because it's Monday morning, people. You're going to forget a couple things, too. We're all human. All right, what's the next thing that we do for this recipe? Um, from here, we're going to um, saute our shrimp and scallops. Okay. Understandably kind of the last step Correct. because they're quick. Correct. It's going to cook relatively quick from here. Do you have any tips for people who are, you know, wanting to make either this recipe or other recipes like it maybe involving, you know, um, seafood in terms of getting your timing right so that everything's done at the same time, even though sure. you've got something that takes a little longer and a waffle and the seafood? Right. Um, 
trial and error. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, just uh, think about it. <laughs> yeah. The, the waffles you can always have ready um, if you want to kind of preheat them back up in an oven sure. or a toaster oven. Um, so I would definitely recommend doing the waffle mm -hmm. first. Um, the shrimp and scallops, scallops I would cook uh, first. They're going to take a little bit longer than the shrimp to cook. I, I recommend uh, getting a good bronze color, caramelizing right. Well, you know what? Scallops. While we're talking, let's do it. Let's so, see you do it the way you, uh, the way you would do it. You probably wouldn't recommend, like, grabbing the Eggos out of the freezer, though, no, huh? Uh, <laughs> it's a special waffle we're making this morning. It, well, and the good thing is now you, you can purchase Belgium waffle makers mm -hmm. um, so you can get that, that thicker uh, waffle. Yeah. Right. For the comfort, the comfort food. That's right. Now, how can we get two pans going here? There's a lot of people here. Oh, all right. I, I didn't know if you were going to maybe separate out the shrimp. No, no, we're going to cook it all together. Um, I like that. I like the way you think. <laughs> so what's happening down there in Atlantic, Atlantic Shores these days? This is the kind of thing you're cooking up every day for the residents there? We certainly are. Nice. Um, we, we do a lot of creative uh, dishes. We have a lot of talented chefs. Mm -hmm. um, we are getting ready to uh, gear up to do the March of Dimes. Right, uh, the signature chef auction. The signature chef, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be there with Nicole Livis. That's coming up Sunday, October 17th. Are you going to make this or something like this, or it's top secret? It's totally top secret. We I can't, uh, I knew you can't were expose say that. it just yet. But um, we've been involved with the March of Dimes now for uh, eight years, and it's, it's an amazing organization. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just proud to be a part of it. All right. I know it's tough to cook and talk, so I'm going to leave you alone for another few minutes. I know you also have a special connection to our studio audience. We can talk about that coming up a little bit later, too. But right now, Cheryl's got another special guest from Tidewater Parent. Hi. All right. As you can see there, we put the saute on our seafood. And when I say we, I mean Richie Cuco has done that. He's the uh, food and beverage director at Atlantic Shores Retirement Community. And he's making a shrimp and scallop curry over uh, a waffle today. Go ahead, waffle. Okay. So um, now that the seafood has cooked in the pan, you're going to add the curry sauce that we made to that. I am. And then this is probably not going to take very long to finish up then because everything's basically done. It's you're gonna, just kind of combining it now in the pan. I'm going to allow this to simmer. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to plate up my waffles, which mm -hmm. I put them in the oven to hold so they stay nice and hot. Good thinking. You're going to put them uh, right here too, aren't you? Let me get out of the way. I'll switch places with you. And you can have that. So is this a real popular dish over there? <laughs> We are actually going to be running this as a chef special tomorrow. Okay. So uh, we'll find out soon enough. Okay. Oh, have you not made this before? I have made this. Um, I've made it at home. I've made it for um, my fellow chefs. Um, but we're going to introduce it to our res to our uh, our restaurant and our residents. Well, I think they'll be lucky. Now, tell me a little bit about what you scooped on here. You said this is a mango butter. This is a, a, a candied mango butter. We uh, candy the uh, fresh mango mm -hmm. and uh, cooled it, and then incorporated, uh, folded it into uh, butter. Mm -hmm. Now, you said that you guys are, you know, longtime supporters of the March of Dimes, and we will see you at the Signature Chefs Auction at the Founders Inn on Sunday, October 17th. But you also said you kind of have a special collect connection with our studio audience, and Cheryl's going to talk to them in a second. But what's your connection uh, with the Alzheimer's Association? Um, Atlantic Shores, uh, Harbor Way at Atlantic Shores is also a, a sponsor, and um, we've... Um, We've come out and actually have done the, the walk mm -hmm. uh, in the past, and uh, we've actually had residents and family members of residents uh, yep. join in on the walk. Well, that's great. It's a small world. Glad everybody's in the studio together here. And then that just goes right over the waffle and the mango butter. Yep, you spoon that right over. All right. All right, well, we're looking forward to giving it a try. We'll show you the absolute finished product coming up in just a couple of minutes.